An encounter between a South Carolina man and an alligator. The driver was pulled down to the bottom of the river before fighting back and freeing himself. Victor Kendo has the details. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. This man was not going without a fight. He says that when that alligator chomped down, he felt pure fear. But his instincts kicked in, and now he's sharing his incredible story of survival. I knew the whole time I'm about to die, no matter what I do. This morning, William Georgitis telling his story as he recovers from a vicious alligator attack he thought would end his life. Strangely, through all that fear, like it was very clear what I knew I had to do. Georgitis, seen in this photo by the Post and Courier, was diving for fossils in South Carolina's Cooper River last week. He remembers surfacing, then spotting the alligator, making a beeline toward him from about 20 feet away. When he was about a foot away, he turned his head and opened his mouth to chomp down basically on my head and shoulders, and I defensively put my arm up. The gator latching onto his arm, Georgitis fighting back with a screwdriver he uses to pry fossils from the riverbed, trying to stab it, then wrapping his free arm and legs around its body. And at that point, he shook me like a rag doll. The gator dragging Georgitis 50 feet below the surface and pinning him to the bottom of the river. He landed on top of me with my arm still in his mouth and he just pressed down on me to try to basically drown me. With Georgitis running out of oxygen, he says he was prepared to sacrifice his arm to escape. I put my feet up against him, just launched back as hard as I possibly could, and um, somehow ripped my arm out and not off. Finally free, he swam as fast as he could to the surface, his friend pulling him onto a boat, then rushing him to the hospital. His right arm seriously injured, but saved. Breathing every moment from here on out is a blessing to me. William's recovery will likely take about six months. His loved ones have set up a GoFundMe for him, but he says when he is all better, he wants to go diving and fossil hunting again. Guys. Wow. Yes. They always say that. I yeah. know, right? Everybody's <laughs> saying the same thing. They always say that. Good for him. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you, Victor. <laughs>